then I pull up on a hater, watch a hater fall back. I'm too good with these hands, watch a hater fall flat. If I die, all I know, I'm a motherfucking legend. It's so great for my city. I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Crystal here, and today I have my January favorites for you. So if you want to see all the stuff that I like, continue to watch. Okay guys, I have quite a few items here, so let me jump in, and I'm going to start with makeup. The first makeup item that I found myself going to every day in January was my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I have the color Dark Brown, and I love the way this makes my brows look. I do use a Wet n Wild pencil to like stencil them out and shade them in, but I go over it with this pomade, and I feel like my brows are there to stay. The next makeup item I love was the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Y'all, this is a sample size that I received in one of my Sephora play boxes and it was the best thing they have ever sent me because, because full size will be purchased, maybe two. I love this stuff. After I use that Anastasia Deal Brow Pomade, I go over with this Anastasia Brow Gel and y'all, my brows are set. If you follow my vlogs, you know I'm in and out the car all day, in and out of different weathers. I got rain on one time, I'm sweat, all that stuff, but I never have to worry about my brows. They stay in place all day long. Another product that I I found myself loving i've been having for a while and i stopped using i went back and it's the nyx blush in the color terracotta and to me you can use it as a highlight or a blush but since i already like the highlight i use i have been using it for a blush and it's just like this uh brownie color if you can kind of see it like that and yeah i think this is really cool for women of color because it gives you a highlight and a blush all in one so it really makes those cheeks shine Another thing that I used to just use on special occasion and now I use every day is my Makeup Forever. Um, this is the Dual Matte Foundation Powder and I got it in color 218 and I love this powder. I just feels like one, since it's Dual Matte, it's going to keep me matte and then two, that it just goes on flawlessly. Like you don't have to worry about that cakey look. Like you can put as much as you want on and then, you know, use your setting spray and it just sinks into your face and stays all day and it keeps you matte. Another product that I love, I have to give props to YouTube because they made me do it, and I'm glad they did. It is the Sasha Buttercup Powder. Y'all, this is a bay. Like, I already ordered a second one because I don't have time to be running out of this. This is what I use to set my highlight, like, underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and stuff like that, and it is the best ever. It's kind of scary when you look at it because you're like, girl, you black, girl, that's yellow. But it's just something about the yellow underhue of it that just really sets your face and makes it not look ghostly. Like, I really love the way it looks. Every video that y'all have seen since Vlogmas and even the whole month of January, I've always used my Sasha Buttercup to set and I love it. Another makeup item that I've been loving is a palette, and it is the Tarte Lip Palette, and this is from Tarte, and I really love this palette because when I do not know what kind of makeup I'm going to do, I go to this palette, and as you can see, it is loved. I use this color right here a lot. I use that black and this brown a lot, and I just feel like if I do not know what I want to wear or what I am going to do that day, this is my go-to palette. And speaking of palettes, one palette that I love so much that I travel with, and I thought that it is the best palette ever and it is limited edition but it is the Lorac Mega Pro 3. This palette right here I love so much simply because I took this out of town. Me and baby went on vacation in October I think it was. Yeah in October and I took only this palette and I was able to do my whole lid. It has a crease color. It has an outer V color. It has a lid color. Like it is just freaking amazing and this is how the colors look and I actually love this palette because like I said it can do a whole lid for you and you don't have to worry about pick picking other eyeshadows from other palettes. This is just like one of those all in one palettes and I really loved it and I find myself using this often. So along with those palettes that, you know, you can do full eyes with is this combination that I found in my collection that I use all the time. And it's so crazy that when people say, oh, what's on your eyes is always these colors. And this is a cruising chic like elf smudge pot. And this is what you use just to put down. So, yeah, I just put this down on my eye and it's kind of like a cream. So you want to set it. And I've been setting it with the ColourPop eyeshadow. It just says 5J04. 
and it's kind of like this brownie color but it just goes on top of it and it just sits and looks so cute then i pop me an orangey brown in the crease and that's the eyelid everybody be saying oh my god what's on your eye it's just these two so yes these are my go-to eyeshadows that i've been using in january and the next thing is not a makeup item, but you can use it on your face. And it is these oil blotting wipes from Dollar Tree. I love these. I used to buy the Sephora ones and they are like $14. And I swear I used the whole pack trying to get the oil off my face. With these Dollar Tree wipes, I'm telling you, only two. Just use two and put it on. It gets that oil off and it keeps you mad all day for $1. Also, a lot of questions that I've been getting is about my eyelashes, and these are my favorite eyelashes, and these are the Demi Wispies, and I love these so much. I like that they have a real thin band, but then they're wispy, so they kind of like sit over your eye, so it just looks really good, like with the drama into the eyelashes, into the eyeshadow, like it do it for me. And how I stepped that up is something that I just did, and that is I stacked them, so I take two of them, and I glue them together, and I let them sit, like I do it, you know, a couple days before I'm actually gonna like beat my face um just so they can dry together before I put them on my eye because I tried that whole stacking the eyelashes on your eye thing and let's just say I almost glued my eye shut <laughs> so we're not gonna play that game so I stack them now and then this is like the drama that you get I love these so every time somebody asks me what eyelashes are you wearing it's always the Demi Wispies stack now, get into something that I know we all love are lippies. These, I have three ColourPop lippies and two MAC lipsticks that I have been using the whole month of January. They stay in my makeup bag, and I didn't even start mixing them together. So, my first one that I love is Creeper, and it is by ColourPop, and it's just a red with a blue undertone. And I just feel like you can put this on. You don't have to put a liner on or anything, and it just gives you that nice, a bold red lip. I also have loved lychee from color pop um i have worn this by itself but i really like mixing it with my next favorite which is more better from color pop i put lychee on first and then more better on top and it gives me that deep burgundy look that i love and for some reason i think this has like a gold undertone or something because it gives like this sheen when you put it on and it could be just because i mix them but yes these are my favorite 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 like i don't have it on now and i would not have it on in the video but it Every time y'all watch my vlogs and say, girl, what's on your lips? It's probably always these two mix. And I didn't even got smart and started putting this down first, which is more better. And I started putting creeper on top of more better. And it just gives you that just like sexy lip, like just like, boom, I'm in your face. What you gonna say? You know, so I really love these. And the two lipsticks that I have been loving are both from MAC. And one is Instigator and it is just a really dark vampy lip. I'll swatch it right here. Oh my God, this lip right here. Mm, mm, mm. Since I love black lipstick, this just gets me as close to black being professional while I'm at work as I can get. I really, really like it. And the other lipstick that I've been having forever and I just like fell in love with it is heroin from MAC. And y'all know that's just like that purpley color. And this is how heroin looks. That's how it looks. Oh my God, I just love that. It's just that purple matte, like, I'm here. Kind of look, I love that. Um, Because I like to make a lot of statements with my lips, especially since I don't wear eyeshadow to work. Like right now, Um, I've been at work all day, so I don't have on eyeshadow, so I love to do a bold lip because it just makes my face look complete. But I took a picture on Instagram, and I'll put it right here. This is how I mixed it. I had Instagate on the outside, and I put heroin on the inside. Honey, them lips... They, they so yes that's everything for makeup so let's jump into hair care because y'all know i was wearing a sew-in since october and then i wore my natural hair and then i went back into another sew-in so i kind of got some favorites on you know what i like to use on my hair so let's jump in the first thing that I love is my Hicks Edge Control. I told y'all about this. I feel like if you are natural and your hair is as curly as my hair is, if you use Eco Styler Gel or ISO Plus, anything like that, your hair will it's just going to curl up. It's not going to um, lie down. So with this Hicks Edge Control, like, y'all, yeah, 
It speaks for itself. And I haven't even used it since this morning. And my edges are laid. Another thing that I like that everybody should like because we don't want to damage our hair is heat protector. I actually do love this one. This one's from L'Oreal. And it's the Sleek It Iron Straight Heat. I use this on my natural hair and my bundles. but more And more so on my natural hair because I don't want to mess up my curl pattern when I get it blown out and straight like that. So I really love this. And speaking of heat protectants, I love this hair polisher from IC Fantasia. I like this because it's more of a uh, shine spray that goes with a heat protectant. So you can spray this on your hair and it's not only going to protect your hair from the heat, it gives you that bit of shine so you don't have to put any other kind of oil on your hair and weigh it down. So yes, I really love this. And this is the IC Fantasia um, hair polisher. The next thing that I love so much is my Garnier Fructis, and it is the Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. Again, if you are natural and you live in Texas, you need some type of humidity hairspray. I love using this on, even in my sew-in now. So yes, this keeps my hair down. I don't have to worry about anything. I just spray just a little bit on my natural hair, and it just stays blended in with my bundles all day long, and I do not have to worry about it freezing up and puffing up. So yes, jumping into body care items, I only got a couple things, and first things first is this Avon Moisture Therapy Derma Smoothing and it's for eczema and actually Sparker Price gave this to me um because I had a real bad breakout y'all know about that on my neck and my face and stuff and she had told me about it because her son has eczema and um she was like Avon got it and then my mama sells Avon but my mom didn't know anything about it so she brought this to me and it cleared me up in like three days and I actually still do use this on my face every day so when I wash my face I use it as a moisturizer just to to keep any texture off my face and I really do feel like it has attributed to the fact that my makeup lays really well. Another body care item is all gone. It is my Nortiz body spray. This was my purse spray. I love this. It smells so good. It just gives you that fresh aroma. Like if you just need a, a burst of fresh air from like a scent, this gives it to you. This small one is $15 at Victoria's Secret, but it is well worth the money because one, it fits in your purse so you can take it everywhere. And two, it goes with all perfumes. Like I can have on any one of my perfumes and spray this and it just complements it. So this was like my favorite and that's why it's gone. Also, two of my favorite perfumes that I went to every single day in January was one, my Vera Wayne Princess. If y'all can see, I really been using it. I love this perfume. It's just like that Nortiz. It's something that you can throw on to where you know you have a scent on, but you don't necessarily choke out everybody. I love it. It's just a really good, like, girly scent. And my second perfume is the one baby got me. It's the Gucci Guilty. I love this perfume. And I have been using this quite a bit um, since I got it for Christmas. I just feel like this perfume is the epitome of sexy. Like, whenever I have meetings or whenever me and baby do date night, I always wear this. I just feel like it gives you just that, oh, I'm here and I'm sexy. You know, I just love it. But those two perfumes are the ones that I always wore in the whole month of January. So jumping into home scent, I have been in love with four candles that y'all will see I burnt the hell out of in January. The first one is Party Dress, and this was one of the holiday candles. I love this. This is what I used to burn in my beauty room, and it just, like, when you come around the hallway, you know this is my beauty room. It smells girly. It smells all things beautiful. Oh my God, I just, I have another one of these and when they gone, I don't know what I'm going to do. It just smells so good and this is what I used to burn in my beauty room. Now, another candle I find myself lighting up every single day is the Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works. And as y'all can see, I have used it. It's a little lopsided because I had it sitting in something and it was kind of like sitting this way. But y'all, it burns down evenly all the way down. It smells like peppermint and sugar and i like this and i can smell it throughout the whole house i can smell it in the living room in the bedroom in the kitchen even in here sometimes i don't even have to um light my party dress because this scent lights up the whole house and this was twisted peppermint so another scent that i find myself burning all the time is my thousand wishes i like burning this in the bathroom i just think it smells so good. It gives your bathroom like that fresh girly scent. And I really love this. So this is my favorite for the bathroom. And lastly is a candle that I love burning in the bedroom. It is the black tie candle. This is just the epitome 
of sexy. Like, it makes your bedroom smell so good. It gives it that fragrance. Like, if you were to walk in somebody's bedroom, you would think it smells like this. So, I really love this candle. So, my next items are snacks. And these are the snacks that I have been loving, guys. Loving. Like, even if I wasn't on a diet, I would totally eat these. So. And the first thing is one that I've been eating on. And that is Skinny Pop. It is the Skinny Pop White Cheddar. I have my little bag clip on here, honey, because I get some of my servings out of here. I love this popcorn. It is really good for you. You can have three and a half cups for 150 calories, no sugar, and only 15 grams of carbs. That is really good. And even if you don't want the whole three and a half cups, only one cup is 43 calories. So it's still good. And it's the white cheddar kind. I love the regular kind too. But this white cheddar kind is bae. Another snack that I have been liking is something that I bought together. And I always will keep them. And it is the Special K snacks. This is the Nourish Bites. And then this is the Protein Bites. The Nourish Bites, you can have 6 for 180 calories. And the Protein Bites, you can have 11 for 180 calories. Um, and it's really good on sugar and carbs on here. And these snacks is something that y'all see. I put in my little Ziploc bag and take with me. So if I just need to eat something, I always snack on those. And I love them so much. And the last category. I want to tell you about is TV, what I've been enjoying. And the first thing is this show called Wentworth. Y'all, this show is like a baby Orange is the New Black. It's kind of like Orange is the New Black with less sex and more violence. I mean, like, the shit that goes on on there, you be looking like, can I do that? I mean, can I do that? Like, it is really good. And it's a good fix for those people who really like Orange is the New Black and hate waiting over a year for it to come back out. This Wentworth is really good. It gives you the same concept. Again, less sex and more violence. Another show that I love is The Office. Yeah, y'all knew it was coming. I watch The Office every day. I do not know how many times I have rewatched all the nine seasons on Netflix, but I will continue. That is what gets me in my happy place. And it's crazy because you like, Crystal, you at work all day. You want to come home and watch The Office? Yes, because it is just that bland comedy, and I love it. I love just cracking up. Baby, I always make fun of me because she be like, girl, you are cracking up like you haven't seen this. It is so funny. And fun fact fact is my ringtone on my phone their theme song is my ringtone <laughs> And the last thing I want to tell y'all about is this amazing movie that I saw that I think everybody should see. It is not about color. It is not about race. It is not about what sex you are. I think everybody should see this and get see what they can get from it. And it is the movie Hidden Figures. This movie just kind of changed my life and gave me a different perspective on things. And just let me know that things are not always as they seem. And sometimes it's going to be hard. But if you just push through and be yourself, then what's for you is going to be you regardless. So that movie just really touched me and it just got me going and ever since I saw it I just been going harder and pushing harder for work and doing stuff at work and you know picking up my new accounts I used to just be like I don't want to do that I don't want to learn that but now I'm like give it to me teach me learn me you know because at the end of the day they're gonna end up leaving their jobs and I'm pretty young I'll be around <laughs> so it's like I want to move up I don't want to stay where I am so I really have been like taking knowledge and you know doing what I need to do so I'm just attributing it out to that movie because it really touched me so yes guys that's everything that i've been loving in january it was quite a few items i didn't think it was that much until i started recording but i definitely love sharing it with you guys this is something that i am gonna do every single month so look forward to it and so you will know when i post it go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video deuces